All right. Hello, my fire signs. Leo, Aries, Sag. Only take what resonates. Leave the rest. Don't make it fit. If it doesn't fit, and all that rolls can be reversed. If I say it's you, it could be your person. I do talk a little naughty. So if you get offended, just find your way. As I read, come again another day. Rootsandrewards.com. If you want to purchase a personal read, sexy time read, a multi-card read. I also have merch over there. Uh, protection jars and I do cord cutting put up your hand to the screen throw your energy over if you're here to stalk and talk find your way out it will be rebooked back to you the way it's been sent all right so fire signs Leo Aries said All right, I feel like you guys went backwards. You went backwards for a hot minute. You went back into <clears throat> into the playground. You went back into maybe your addictions. Your addictions may have gotten the best of you. I feel like somebody might have went back to like smoking cigarettes or some shit. I feel like you went backwards for a hot minute. <clears throat> but you're doing a turnaround now. So let's sit my little pair. Then we get started. All right. So it's been snail pace getting you out of the situation, getting you out of these unhealthy habits. But now I see that you're taking forward movement, but it is slow and steady. You're slowly coming out of it. You're slowly going into steady, uh, stable energy. You may be connecting with somebody that has a 12th uh, birthday on the 12th or uh, the month of December. Rock bottom. This is where you've been. So you hit rock bottom. Possibly December last year or the 12th on the 12th or the 10th or in October. You really hit that rock bottom and caused you to unravel and go towards unhealthy things for yourself. But I see that you're gaining this enlightenment and you're like, I have to get myself up now. It's enough. I can't be in this dark energy anymore. And then as you come out of it slow and steady, like just clawing you way out of the pits of hell. Um, there's peaks of joy coming in. You're flying forward. It could be 33, 20, December 20th, October 20th. Things are going to be changing for you. So bursting out in joy energy, taking flights, um, coming out of the maze. Some of you are first-time flyers. You've never been in a plane. You're taking your first trip or you're going to some um, very mystical, mystical place in the future here. Dragon's Lair. All right. So a mystical place, that's where you're headed. You may connect with dragons. I feel like this is the old energy. You were, you were stuck in someone's uh, web of maybe lies, web of deceit, um, stuck in this cold energy with this person. You just felt like everything froze over. Everything, everything good stopped in your life. Like it just froze over. So I feel like somebody may have like thrown some evil, evil intention at you. You may be going for blood work. 
I see drops of blood. So maybe you punched, uh, you were physical. Somebody punched a wall, you punched a wall. And your knuckles bled. So it could have been a physical altercation that you had with this person. But I see like you're slowly coming out of it. See the magic stream? See the magic stream leading you to a better conclusion. You may connect with cranes or bonsai trees. I'm getting um, Chinese energy off of this because the dragon or Japanese. The dragon, the magical stream, the cranes, the bonsai tree. So you may be connecting with someone that is Chinese or believing in the Chinese uh, culture. See, compass, slow and steady, moving towards a different direction. Understanding where you're needing to go next. So that's looking good with the magic stream. So you could be flying out to New Zealand, somewhere where there's a lot of um, maybe Lake Como. Um, there's streams and waterfalls or lakes. 18, 2018, something may have happened. You could be 50, um, October 12th. Let's get, um, see, I, I feel this. You are going through a major metamorphosis. You're changing. You're shifting. You're mutating into something better. Uh, the 25th. So somebody may have the birth date on December 25th, October 25th. Major changes are coming in in 2025 for you. You're cleaning house. You need to clean up your house, throw out shit, cleaning out your energetic field of what's ever been holding you back. And you're protecting your treasure. So you may be protecting your household, protecting your house. Maybe somebody's trying to come after you, coming apart. Yeah, maybe coming after your blessings, after your treasure, after your house. And you're just holding really tightly to what is yours. <clears throat> All right. Let's get moonology. Fire signs. It's time to take action. Aries energy. So you may be dealing with an Aries that you're... Uh, needing to take action with this person it could be very bullheaded your commitment is being tested so i feel like you're probably coming out of a commitment with someone you need a pra practical plan of action of how to get out of it all right let's see what else Fire signs. What do you got going on, fire signs? Smoothing things over. Queen of Cups and the Princess of Wands. So I feel like the person that you were with this princess of wands this leo aries sage or this king of uh the queen of cups cancer pisces scorpio this person was very um immature insecure emotionally all over the place they tested your patience put a thorn in your side hangman you're getting unstuck from that person pisces energy you're getting unstuck. You're not going to get shook of all your feel-good energy. You may believe in the Celtic, Celtic cross. Right? That's the Celtic cross there. I'm not sure. You could be Jewish, too. <clears throat> Fire signs. What's up? 
The Hierophant. So you're getting unstuck from a commitment. You're becoming wiser, Taurus energy. You're doing a lot of reading, a lot of researching on how to... You don't want to be single, but you're, you're showing up single. And showing up how... See this tower crumbling. Two of Pentacles. You don't... With this home dynamic... You keep rocking back and forth. You haven't really made a decision. How to invest or what to pull away from. Aries Scorpio. But the tower is coming down. So regardless if you want it to or not. It's coming down. And once it comes down. You're going to feel... A lot of harmonious changes happening. So if you're fighting over a house, if you're fighting over kids, if you're fighting over any type of money, time, you better just uh, give it up and, and be um, be fair, be fair with it. Ten of cups. And as you're fair with it, you get your Ten of Cups, your wish fulfillment. So I feel like it's working for you. February 10th, October 10th, October 2nd. Fire signs, Seven of Cups. There was a lot of illusions around this home, around this person. There could have been many options, handing flowers to many people. I feel like Scorpio energy here. There is success coming in. There are more options that are coming in, more people wanting to come in and give to you. Death card. So ending this relationship. As you end this relationship or end this false narrative, you then transform. And people start flowing into you. There's a lot of Scorpio energy here. All right. Somebody wants to lasso you. All right, fire signs. So it looks like you're ending a partnership. And there might be some kind of finances or home that uh, you need to part with a little bit here before you can have a new emotional beginning with the Ace of Cups. Yeah, Nine of Swords. This has kept you way up in your head. A lot of mental conflict. A lot of not being able to sleep at night. The Eight of Swords. So the Nine of Swords goes to the Eight of Swords. So you, you're gathering your thoughts. You're not going to fill yourself with illusions or have anybody else fill you with illusions. Coming out of feeling trapped and bound. If there was anybody interfering in, in a relationship, that is wrapping up. There's no more interference. Somebody make like football. No more interference. Five of Wands, okay, in reverse. I like it. And the Three of Swords. So, here you are. person made you feel terrible about yourself. You felt bad about yourself with your own actions. And you felt like your heart got ripped out. And you went to the pits of hell. But you're coming out of sabotaging yourself you're coming out of the heartbreak you're stepping away from it you're not going to feel bad about how this person feels anymore you're focusing on how do i feel how do you make me feel and you're seeing that this person makes you feel hurt this person makes you feel weak this person makes you feel lack energy so it's not really a, a beneficial person for you to be with. I think you're understanding that now. 
with the three of pentacles wanting to put your effort somewhere else two of swords it was very um there was a lot of indecision looking back at what 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 you once had with this person but now you're staying quiet high priestess pisces energy you're staying quiet and you're just observing the people that are around you you're trying to open up your intuition i think you come up very uh, mysterious in your energy knight of wands there's a pas passion coming in from this person may have black hair long long wavy black hair or dark brown this person <laughs> this person wants to suck on you the wheel of fortune they want to bring you abundance they want to swing the wheel in their favor this person wants to lock in with you <laughs> There's a lot of perspiration. There's a lot of sweat going on. There's a lot of spiciness going on. The yarn. Somebody believes if they wear red, uh, red bracelets that, that wards away the evil eye. So there's red yarn here. So this is going, I feel like this connection is gonna unravel nice and slow and naturally. So there could be three siblings here or three bitches. So what's that about? Unraveling. So were you fire signs dealing with three people? Or four, even. Or it could just be two. But this one over here is standing out to you. Beautiful one. And then this dark energy. These three are in dark energy. They're behind the scenes. Now this could be si sisters, mother. Yeah. Kind of getting like the Cinderella thing here. The three witches. No good intention. This person, the Knight of Wands, this person approaching you with uh, fortune. These people are not going to like it. The Emperor mature individual here so this emperor is bringing in the wheel of fortune this emperor is attached to three of these people doesn't matter if it's woman or man good looker look at that look at that facial structure the arms nice hair somebody may wear braids in their hair i feel like so this could be you or them I feel like someone here has taken the judgment of their mom or their siblings or their friends very seriously. And this has held this person tied to this person, tied to this area. So somebody is trying to hold this masculine, I feel, or feminine real close to them. Meanwhile, this person really wants to leave and do something like really passionate here. And bring fortune and, you know, provide and come hunt for you. See? Watching you. You may be aware this person is watching you and you're just over your shoulder looking back at them, but you're not really doing too much. What's this emperor bringing? bringing a commitment Taurus energy they're bringing wisdom this person is very knowledgeable they're very wise probably spiritually gifted or guided religious
They may have gone to higher council, therapy, shamans, priests, to get their awareness. This person's leaping in for you. Full card, Aquarius, Aries. Somebody wants to see a butt naked. They, they are just, you are the muse for this person. You get their creativity swirling. So their sacral chakra, I see, is really lit up for you. They're leaping in real quick. In the next eight, eight hours to eight days. This person could be born in 1980. Quick, 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 quick movement. Ace of Wands, they're manifesting you. So Magician Ace of Wands, I'm manifesting a new passionate beginning. I'm manifesting taking action towards this person. I'm manifesting getting all the right tools necessary to be able to come to this person with maturity and action and commitment. This could be you guys. You could be this Aries. And you're about to make moves towards this sexy, sexy person here. You like their back. Somebody likes chest. So expect an emperor to come in and show you passion. Or this is what you're going to be doing towards this person. So the three, the three women here, the three sisters or girlfriends or whoever, you let me know in the comments who these three bitches are in the dark. They're in dark energy. This, these people may wear a lot of black. They might have a mug on their face. They never smile. They really are not personable. They like resting bitch face. Three of them. Three of them. Oh, who you're doing with? If you have a daughter, make sure that she's not being bullied by her friends, her girlfriends, or like, not. I won't even call these friends. They're like fake, fake friends. So these three women trying to spell work on this masculine, yeah. This masculine is a fine ass apple. It's a fine ass man think they got entangled with some shit or this is you you got it tangled with some shit while you went backwards in the pits of hell and you met yourself three demons well this is family just getting in your ear let's see three these three bitches who are they three bitches look <sighs> trying to cause your heartbreak Trying to stop you from your money. Stop uh, trying to stop you from being able uh, to create. Blocking you from your creativity. So you may feel like right now your your finances are stunted or your creativity is blocked. Yeah, because this bitch here, water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Queen of Cups. The person that isn't emotionally balanced and they're all over the place emotionally is trying to cause you heartbreak because they're sitting in heartbreak. They're sitting in lack. They don't got shit. They're hurt. So that's one of your bitches. Hmm. Who's the other two? Other two bitches. One you were in a relationship with that you're no longer investing in. With the Ten of Pentacles is in reverse. You see how they want to block your money? They want to block your money or take your money or some shit. This Queen of Cups. They just can't wait to see you in agony. This person, Pisces, talking. Pisces is stalking, feeling stuck and stagnant. A lot of water energy here. 
Who's the third witch? So you have a Queen of Cups and you have a Pisces. So these could be warlocks too. Witches, warlocks, whatever you want to call them. Who's that third bitch? And men could be bitches too. Let's, let's get it straight. And... I think there is, I don't think this is one of your bitches. I think this is off to the side. A young earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, that wants to put effort into you. And this is gonna come to light. They're coming out of the dark places. This person may have been hiding their feelings for you. I see them bringing you bringing you something. That's why I feel like it's not one of these bitches here. You're rowing away from these people that are disrupting you. You're not listening to them. You're definitely coming out of like a love love affair. Fishy cup of love. Taking your, your cup of love somewhere else. Younger water sign. Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Trying to get you all up in the head. It's toxic. Somebody's so cocky, so smug in their energy when it comes to you. Who's this third person? There's this bitch here. Possibly another ex that had love energy for you and you kept them out in the cold. Yeah, you kept them out of the cold. They feel crippled. So I kind of get two X energies and then one. It's either a mother, sister, or a, or a lover. Mixture of getting in your head. Let's see who this emperor is. The death, the death god is clearing out your your witches and goblins and warlocks. And cleared away. Let's see, oops, oops, oops. Cleared away. But they are. I would do a cleanse. Let me tell you, they're trying to block. So. The two towers that fell are labradorite, which is for intuition and protection, and pyrite, which is for money and protection. So I feel that you need to get either either of those stones. You're needing to do a cleanse. You could do an egg cleanse. You could do a, a lime or lemon cleanse. You put salt on the lemon or lime. You wash your hands with it, scrub the hands between the fingers. Visualize releasing any evil eye, black magic, ill intention, envy, jealousy from you. And then you wash it away. Cold, cold water. Cleanse it away. And then you take the lemon or lime outside. You put it under some dirt. Or you throw it away from the house. Whatever you want to do with it. Cleanse your energy because these people are trying to stop your intuition with the labyrinth, right? And they're trying to stop your fucking money and your creativity. So now that you're aware, call your power back and don't allow it. Because maybe that's why you, you've had this going down to the pits of hell because you're having heavy energy from people that feel bothered by you retracting and saying or doing what you said. Let's see. Who is this emperor coming in? For the fire size. Oh, it's getting tired, guys. Star card. They have healing properties for you. Probably feel really relaxed with this person. You 
There's not no indecision. Nobody's trying to blindfold you. Well, who's this person coming in for the fire signs? Ooh, Ace of Cups. Cup of love. Somebody's very intellectual. They're very good at communicating. Somebody wants to be in your bed. Good communicator. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. They're very intellectual. They are demi sapiosexual. They like those deep conversations. This may start as a friendship. Celebrations coming in. Meeting through a friend's group and commitment. See, commitment follows. So this person's going to come in, treat you as a friend, get to know you as a friend, and then it's going towards commitment. They got their eye on you. They want to fill into you. This person's been working on filling into themselves. Who's this emperor coming in? They don't want it to end. Somebody is fearful that you're going to reject them. And stop the clear communication. This person wants to talk. They like to talk. They got the gift to give. Resting judgment. Judgment call to rest in your bed. Leo. So it may be a fellow Leo or this is you making sure that it's a friends could start off as a friends with benefits and then go to commitment because i see you guys just you know a lot of sunshine a lot of happiness a lot of togetherness a lot of like just easy talking it's taurus hierophant ace of pentacles see a lot of value in you they want to uplift you they want to give give to you giving gifts giving even reciprocation balanced energy you're rowing away from this ending that this person didn't emotionally invest in you you're rowing away from that the conflict is ending judgment call what's the judgment call you're not taking apologies from the past anymore. You know, closing out chapters, traveling away from insecurity, rejection, your ego being hurt. This judgment. What's this judgment? Somebody wants to come and be happy with you, celebrate with you. Fast, fast, fast. Eight to nine days, eight to nine hours. August 9th birthday. September 8th birthday, October 19th, the lover comes in. They want to uplift you, Gemini energy. They really want to possibly get you drunk and fuck you hard. They may like drunk sex, but they just can't wait to just like scoop you up. You, you could be very thick. You're filling out, like you're looking damn good. And they just want to salute you. Coming out of that moon, moon energy. So I think both of you guys were possibly sitting in boredom and dissatisfaction. And you're both just really wanting to heal at this point. You're just like, I got some shit to heal. I need to be around people that help me heal. I need to be around healthy people. So you, you're tired of your own shit. You're tired of toxicity, Leo. You're getting more courageous, bold in your actions, confident. There's support that comes in. Virgo 6, 56, 65, June 5th, May 6th. Uh, Scorpio, we saw 8. August 6th, August 5th, 86, 85, May 8th, Aries 1, Leo again, 
Sun card 13, Capricorn 10. I really feel like this person's coming in this month if they're not already in. 10, 13, 10, 8, 10, 16, 10, 18, October 18. See the animal spirit between the two of you. How's this person coming up? Sagittarius, get somebody made like lingerie, Victoria's Secret. You may want to have a son with this person, or they want a son with you. Bear, somebody wants to just give you that bear hug. You give good hugs. They want to get close to you. They want to hibernate with you. That Black Panther, those bitches, those warlocks, person could have black hair and green eyes. That's what I'm seeing. A lot of black hair. No black hair. And it could be light eyes. So no more allowing people to lash out on you. Or over override you, you know. This person. They're wolf. They're wolf. You got that wolf pack around you. Pulling on that a lock, Ar Archangel Thornton Thor brings the wolves for protection. So maybe you do connect with wolves. You could have a tattoo of wolves, or you just you're very drawn to wolves. Wolf dogs. I was, yeah, uh, the other day I was watching all these videos of, like, the wolf dogs and um, how people, you know, uh, they train them and also, like, hotels. Like, Great Adventure, I think, is one of them. The safari, you could actually rent a hotel at the safari and feed the giraffes and see the animals, like, come right up to the windows and stuff and I saw one with wolves recently so you may want to go in in a cabin in the the woods and go on some type of experience where there's a whole wolf pack that's right outside uh with right outside your cabin with like these glass windows and you interact and hear them howling and stuff you may really connect with wolves not sure you also may have Native American in your bloodline or Indian. Somebody's being a little mouse. They're creeping in nice and quiet, nice and slow for you. Yeah. I'm not taking that tarantula and energy anymore. No. The hairy, ugly thing. The person could have been really hairy. That black egg. Yeah, you're you're not taking black black heart people anymore. Black energy, black egg. You're not taking people that are very closed up and people that are trying to creep on the background. You're going towards very warm, warm people, people that treat you as the cosmic egg. Excuse me, people that pull you into their chest, people that, you know, wrap you with really colorful rainbows, you know. That's good. How does this person see you? They see you as filled with so many feelings they see you as very emotional very big hearted the whale they also feel like you don't change your stripes you're very um intuitive you're very strong leo you're very strong you're very courageous this person feels that uh you alchemize you, uh that evil that people uh, may push towards you. You may connect with the fish, koi fish, connect with Pisces energy. Someone knows that you've had challenging time and your emotions were not being met and you just headed up that magical stream um, fighting your hardest to get upstream and people have made it even more challenging for you, 
for you than you needed it to be. The hyenas, yeah. Rug rats, the street rats. Trying to lurk and pick on you and bully you. Gang up on you with their evil intention. You're stepping away from that. I need to get more sleep. Take your nap. Put on some meditation music. Take a nap during the day or head to bed a little earlier. You're wearing yourself down. Could be 40, 44 tower. You got to let that tower crumble. It's not built on solid foundation, June 19th. Somebody may live in a high rise building where you have a view of the city by the water. Fire signs, cross, possibly very religious, or you're needing to wear your cross during these tower moments. But it's showing that these storms come in and you're standing tall with the cross, like you're standing tall. People are trying to crucify you, throw you tower moments, and you're just standing nice and tall in your faith. You're not letting fear override your faith. Uh, 36, Leo, yeah. I think, yeah, 24, heart. Person could have a J name or A name, S, H. This person comes in with their heart full. They could have a birth date on the 24th, uh, coming in in the next 24 days. They bring in an enlightenment for you and gifts and just this person's smile just perks you up. You see this person you're just like, oh, you make me so, so happy. You're so cute. And again, so I saw this in the earth sign read, so you guys are probably messing with the earth sign. Look at that bouquet and the balloon again. Nice. You may be going to like a light show with this person or some kind of art, art museum. Six, six, nine. Letter coming in for you. Garden. Somebody's planting the seeds and wanting to water your garden. Maybe help you with your garden. Having nice dinner by the waterfront with the city in the back background. Someone's hoping that they can plant the seed with you. August 6th, 68, 86. So the tower is gonna crumble, but then you're planting the seeds. You're building a better foundation with someone else here. This person may come with children or a child, a daughter, J name again, see the tree. <laughs> Coming in rooted, coming in stable, coming in strong with that heart. This person got a very big heart. Get emotional. So they could have a JK name, A K A J. A lot of feelings. The fish is here. You may have a fish tank. You may like tropical fish, or this person does. They're bursting out in their feelings for you. They just want to be so sweet with you. Man, see, this man is coming up like a, a very supportive man, a businessman, 
they hold down their shit, all right? They're trying to look good for you. They're trying to dress nice for you. Um, bring you, bring in the flowers and the gifts and, you know, be soft with you. Okay. Well, I haven't cried in a minute. It's getting me my feelings. Our tears are just pent up emotions that need to come out. But these are good tears. I feel like there's a lot of romance. I think this person's gonna give you a lot of love. A lot of kisses. A lot of abundance. Shit. <laughs> Engagement ring. Like. This is exactly what came out in the Earth sign read. Engagement ring. So this person's coming in to give you kisses, to seduct you, <laughs> seduce you, to bring in abundance with that wheel of fortune, to bring you love energy. And then it's going to lead into engagement. It's going to lead into something that is growing, a legacy. Real nice. Ascending. Maybe talking to your girlfriends or guy friends about this person. Maybe that's why these three little witches, <laughs> three little bitches are uh, talking. So you could have said something to your mom and your mom talked to your sister, talked to, you know, your ex or there was some kind of talk going around 78 76 so you might have you might have you know if you haven't met this person yet maybe not talk to anybody really about this person especially the family um I think the family may be against this person, you being with this person. So I'm kind of feeling like it's a mother or sister. Like you, you go to this person, you probably went to this person and you're like, oh, this person, they have so much love. They're religious, spiritual, you know, they have enlightenment. I want to grow with this person. And they're just like, yeah, I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think so. I don't think you should travel to that person because I think that person's going to break your heart. I don't think that person is good for you. I think you have to protect yourself from that person. So somebody's giving wrong I don't see this person that's traveling into you breaking your heart or trying to hurt you. I feel like they have a lot of love energy. They got healing energy. Got abundance for you. It's going to be a happy, healthy partnership investment. This person's not trying to fuck with you. You know, They fuck with you, but they're not trying to fuck you. Like, fuck you up with the thief. No, this person's not trying to thieve on you. They're showing up. They're not sneaky or hiding anything. And that they work hard for their people. They work hard in their relationships. So someone might have gotten in your head or somebody got in this person's head about coming towards you because they felt like you're thieving. You're going to thieve on them. You're going to escape from them. They, you're going to hurt them. And they just, you know, this person might have ran. So you know how you feel. You use the intuition. Listen to your intuition. Do a third eye cleanse. How do you truly feel about this person? I think you feel very comfortable and relaxed with them. And I feel like you feel like you can have victory with them. But the naysayers are holding you back. The people in the shadows. The, the gossipers. They're holding you back from a new emotional beginning. Something that you want to go after. Something that's going to be balanced. Something that's really going to value you. And give you a commitment and and get you to greater heights and it's all starting with this friendship 
it's starting with a friendship. So you're building the friendship before you start going in heavy with it, in the feelings, in the commitment, in the sexual union even. So the people around you, they gotta sit the fuck down. Because you know what you know. You know the truth. See, you walking away from what happened, the naysayers, you coming out of the crossroads, you seeing the truth of the matter, you know what you gotta cut off. You know where you have to go towards to have your celebrations. You know who's gonna be putting an effort into you. You know where you wanna put effort. So go after what you want, basically. Capricorn energy on the bottom of the deck. Wanting that cup of love with you. Wanting to balance. Wanting to invest. And wanting to give commitment. And be a friend of yours. And give you healing. <laughs> there may be apologies coming in from this person. If you did, you know, maybe you're apologizing to them. Leaving them in lack. Not being able to commit. Not being able to heal with them. I think there's a lot of sexual energy here. I think there was addictions. I think there was manipulation and toxicity um, within. I don't think you had anything with this person toxic. I think this was an internal battle with either you or them. Or with outsiders. But there's like magnetic sex coming in here. Feeling... That God put you in this person's life, put you in this person's path for a reason. Key to your heart. They got the key to your heart. You could have short black hair. The thief is in reverse now. And let's go into the zodiac. Alright, so fire signs dealing with an Aries, a fellow Aries. Fire signs dealing with a fellow Aries. So you may want to heal with that person. Judgment. Judgment call. Aries. I had a crossroads about commitment. So somebody knows that they have to make a judgment call. Or they did make a judgment call about commitment here. Aries. Somebody's deciding to make a judgment call not to commit because they don't feel like it's a soulmate connection and coming out of a crossroads, coming out of a commitment with that Aries. Alright, so it's not working with an Aries energy. There's too much deception, too much things have been done in the dark, you know, hiding feelings and shit like that. Cancer, Pisces energy. Yeah, it's nothing with the Aries. Pisces, if you're dealing with the Pisces, fire signs dealing with Pisces. Pisces is also no commitment. You're changing relationships. You're coming out of a commitment, marriage, and you're moving on. You may be focused. This person may be focused on their finances more than the partnership. Yeah, they're focused more on their work and their stability than creating a new healthy partnership. So this person's about the money. They could, yeah, they're going to break your heart. The Pisces probably will break your heart because they are not emotionally invested. They are just about their money and they may manipulate you with money. Yeah, they manipulate you with money here. This person is traveling towards another lover, Gemini energy. So fire signs, this Pisces may be traveling away and giving somebody else stability. Probably not aware of this, or maybe you are. They're slowly moving away. They're gonna slowly back away from you. 
possibly causing heartbreak. Keeping it stuck, Pisces. That's the truth of it. Third party. So you could have felt like you had a friendship with this person and that you were going towards a partnership with them, but no, no. This person is building abundance and fortune with someone else here. So you're going to get some clarity about that person. Uh, Aquarius, if you fire signs are dealing with an Aquarius, all right, lock in, guys. Let me know how this read resonates with you in the comments. Aquarius may want a rebirth. There was an ending with that person. Yeah. They want a rebirth. They want to show you that they can be mature, that they can be the man or woman that you need them to be. This person is holding back, giving an emotional offer right now. So I feel like they are working on themselves for you. They may have been wishy-washy about where they want to place their time and attention. This Aquarius coming out of thievery, but they're not taking action. So this person, I feel, is at a standstill. They're working on each other, but they have the thought in their mind to come in, but they're not coming in right at this moment. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, Capricorn is feeling nostalgic about you. They feel childlike with you, fire signs. They feel like there's a potential to grow. You could have a uh, two kids. Somewhat close in age, maybe six years apart. You may like your pets. You got cats and frogs and rabbits and butterflies. You're very drawn to animals or this person. Um, what's Capricorn bringing? Oh, Capricorn's coming quick, quick, quick. <laughs> they want they're coming in in the next two to eight days two to eight weeks charging charging towards you they're like i i see partnership with you i see that we could bring families together your children i can make my children or we can have children together there may be up to three to six kids with this person whether they have you have combining or you're going to have together um there is a daughter here it's actually two daughters so i think somebody is wishing on a wishing flower to come love you fire signs this capricorn got a whole lot of love they got their eye on you they really want to pour into you this person i just saw the harrison they want commitment um what is this capricorn doing with the fire signs they're waiting to travel fast for you to protect this connection and invest bring you abundance a lot of stability with this capricorn here marriage like they're ready for something real could have a january 19th birthday okay sagittarius if you're dealing with the sagittarius there's possible communication Coming in, fire signs with the Sag messages. Sagittarius. Sagittarius, right now, it lacks confidence. They lack enlightenment. They lack value in self. Sagittarius. What's Sagittarius? Uh, they want the Ten of Cups, but they don't know how to get it. They want to have justice, like balance here. But the Sagittarius is too much in their lust energy. They're fucking everything they see. They, they're not ready for a lover at this time. They want the wish fulfillment, but they're not ready to lock down and be committal. So they may just be coming towards you for sex. That's what it looks like, the Sagittarius. The outcome with Sag. Did 
feel like they're cocky. They may be maturing. They're coming out of boredom. Uh, Sagittarius is unbalanced emotionally. I don't think this person's ready. No, they're toxic. They're toxic. They're in their addictions. So, release that Sagittarius. Scorpio. Scorpio. Fire signs dealing with the Scorpio. I gotta fasten this up. Getting tired. Fire signs, Scorpio. Scorpio. You're slowly coming out of heartbreak with that Scorpio. You're gaining up your strength. This person weakened you. This person may have had an alcohol addiction, just feeling real smug in their energy. So you or they, somebody took harsh communication and just uh, pulled forward. Yeah, with the cancer, with, you know, moving, moving on from heartbreak. Scorpio, uh, what's the outcome here? Somebody wants to protect and defend and have victory with you. Sagittarius. Get you off the market. They don't like seeing you single. So they're going to, this Scorpio is going to try to come in and be, bring you harmony. All right. Let's see. Who do we have next? Who am I missing? Libra? All right. Fire signs dealing with the Libra. Hiding. Libra is hiding feelings for you. They're going to be truthful with you. They setting boundaries. They want to communicate and be clear with you. They're trying to use their intuition with you. Libra. Sagittarius. Yeah, this person also wants to bring harmony in and take you off the market so they mean business this libra virgo fire signs dealing with the virgo the virgo is getting out of their head they were feeling bound mental conflict virgo and fire signs there was a lot of um Uncertainty about finances, uncertainty about if they wanted to give an emotional offer, which I don't feel like they are. This person's not waiting around for you anymore. They're rowing away from you and rowing away from conflict. So they're moving on, the Virgo. If you're dealing with a fellow Leo, what's going on there? Fellow Leo. I do have an Amazon wish list in my link tree link below if you'd like to buy me something for my channel i could use a singing bowl if anybody's interested in donating i take cash app paypal and venmo this leo is coming out of disappointment and uh, boredom so that's good they really weren't liking what they were receiving this leo they're watching you they're stalking you Someone may feel like they don't know how to row away from conflict with you or row away from their own mental sabotage. They don't want like turbulent water with you. They don't want like thunderstorms with you, but they're watching. Um, manifesting something, this Leo. They're coming out of indecision. Capricorn, Capricorn, double energy. I think this Leo has pent up emotions about you, feelings about you. And I think there's a lot of sexual desire and temptation that they can't resist. They need to come towards you, fire signs, and rebirth the connection, Scorpio energy. This person knows that they kept you in lack. So they want to reverse what they did. 
Uh, cancer, if you're dealing with a cancer, cancer is very sexually drawn to, very passionate for you, fire signs. They got their passion stick in hand, waiting to stroke it. Cancer, what's cancer bringing for the fire signs? Cancer is a little defensive. They're very slow to the party. They want to come towards you. They feel like you're a little sex kitten, but they're going to be slow to give you stability. And they may have some triggers. They don't let people in. Uh, they will travel for you after they get out of some of their wounds. This person could be a young water sign, Cancer Pisces Scorpio. They ha they're youthful. They're youthful, so... They don't really know how to give a commitment. If that's what you're looking for, they're unable to really give like a commitment. Or maybe it's you that's not wanting the commitment. I see a fire sign not wanting commitment. You may not want a commitment with this person, but there's love energy cancer. So this, per this, this cancer is coming into you, traveling into you with love energy and they don't want tower moments. They don't want drama chaos. But there's something about not being committal. Somebody is not committal, but there's love between the two of you. And a fire sign is looking like you're not committal to this person. You're not committed. You may want to leap or you get into foolish energy and you want to leap towards someone, Aries. Capricorn energy. You may have thoughts about moving towards somebody else, but then you stop yourself. You get yourself out of that devil energy. You may want to go to a Capricorn fast, but you, uh, you hold back, but you watch the person. So you might have somebody else on your radar that you want to jump to, but it's testing your, your commitment. That, yeah, it's testing your commitment, whether or not you want to boot the person or go the person. All right, what are we up to? Um, Taurus? There's no celebrations with the Taurus. Hold oh on. I got my chart in front of me. I forgot Gemini. All right, we're going to do Taurus first. Taurus, there's a... Uh, Maybe you don't feel like this Taurus gives you enough recognition. Uh, you may feel like that Taurus was hiding things from you. They really don't try to do nice things for you. They don't really try to bend over backwards for you. You may feel like this Taurus, you don't want, you don't see your Ten of Cups and you don't see commitment with this person. I don't think you guys really see a potential with this person or they don't see a potential with you. There may be a cold communication, cutting off communication with this Taurus. What's the outcome? Slow. Slow for movement. No. It's not looking too good with that Taurus energy fire signs. There's not enough oomph. There's not enough emotions between the two of you. Alright, Gemini. Fire signs dealing with the Gemini. I hope I didn't miss anybody. Gemini puts you in lack. Gemini is greedy fuck. They're held back. They're clo holding close to their chest. They're watching you though. Um seeing you as the empress they're seeing you have a glow up birthing new ideas uh, seeing you get your enlightenment seeing that you're picking yourself up after maybe they've rejected you or backstabbed you this person could have juggled you they could have been manipulated to you what's the outcome with the Gemini tower let the tower crumble. Rest in your bed and move on. Chapters closed with uh, Gemini. All right, guys, that's what I have for you.
hope you enjoyed the read. Hope it did give you some clarity to your situation. I have some events coming up if you want to come for a Qigong class, aqua, hydro boxing, mixed martial arts class, uh, Tai Chi, Pilates. Did I say Qigong? Uh, come. I'm in the Middles Middlesex County. I can give you a free day pass. Uh, there's some events coming up that I will let you know about. And that is it. Keep yourself in high regard. I'll see you next time, Thursday, 7 p.m. Eastern time over here and on TikTok. Everything's in the description box below. Bye, guys.